Okay, a wedding is like a performance. In the very beginning, you're up on stage and everyone's looking at you. They're on the edge of their seats. They've got their entire focus on you. Now the question is, what are you gonna do with it? You don't wanna blow that, right? What's going on? Island Mike here, Wanderlust Bay Ministry. I've uh, performed over 2,000 weddings, so I'm hoping I can give you something that'll help you perform the most freaking awesome wedding ever. So today we're going to talk about what to do at the beginning of the ceremony, the opening, the moment that you stand up there in front of that crowd. It's going to be a good show. Okay, so I'm going to presume one thing, and that is that you know this group that you're performing the ceremony for. So your family friend, you're related to them, and that'll play into how I would say you start this thing off. Now, I'd do this for every wedding, no matter whether I know these people or not. And that's, this is the, so this is the first thing, right? You go up to the front of the, the venue, your, where the, the altar, let's just call it. You're standing up there now. This is before anybody has processed in. This isn't like the entrance, nothing. This is you're up there and everybody's looking at you. First thing you're going to start doing is work in the crowd. All you need to do is put everybody at ease and show them that you're confident and you know what you're doing up there. So, for example, you walk up to the front and you're looking out at the crowd and you see Uncle Frank. Hey, Uncle Frank made it from Seattle. So good to see you. Um, oh, look, and there's Aunt Darlene. Very cool. Can't wait to uh, party with you at the open bar later. You're like a comedian working a room or an MC. You just want to talk to the people. It doesn't have to be long. It's just a few things. Just get people in the mood and getting them excited. All right? Because then that's going to segue... And this could take, yeah, I mean, if you're up there for 10 minutes because the bride's having uh, dress issues, great. Keep talking to the crowd, but don't feel obligated. But you want to make sure you establish contact with the people in the audience. And maybe even give them a heads up, like, hey, you know, uh, we're just uh, waiting on a couple of things to be settled in the back. You know, I think the bride and groom are having their first fight. No, I'm just kidding. You know, have a little fun. Let the people know we're going to be starting soon, but then you're going to get into your announcements. After warming up the crowd, you're going to move into the general announcements for the ceremony, and there's usually not a lot to do here. Maybe you've got an instruction where you want to let the immediate family know that right after the ceremony, there's going to be a group photo, so please don't go anywhere. Or if everybody could please move to the bar uh, after the ceremony, we're going to do a group shot, uh, meaning alcohol. But probably the most common one, and the one I actually recommend you make, and, and this is probably something you'll get approved by the couple, uh, is having a, an unplugged wedding ceremony, which means no cell phones, no picture taking. And, and here's how I do that announcement, because it's a pretty common one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a, an important announcement to make right now, and that is this is going to be an unplugged ceremony, which means please turn your cell phones off, uh, any cameras, anything, unless you've been asked specifically by the bride or the groom to video or take photos, we want you to shut it off. We want you to be present in the moment and just be here with us. You make that announcement. Uh, important thing about announcements is one, you're establishing your authority, which is kind of an important part of your involvement in the ceremony. Because remember, it is, I will say this in probably every video at some point or in some form, it is your ceremony. It is not about the family. It is not about the bride and the groom. It is about you putting on the performance of a lifetime. Uh, you're not going to ever really get credit for it. The bride and groom are always going to be the ones that are going to get the accolades like, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Oh my gosh. No, it was you that were beautiful. It was you that, you, you know, was amazing. Okay, so we've gone through working the room, getting people warmed up. Now we've moved through announcements. And now comes the start of the ceremony. There has now been a procession. So the bride and the groom or the two brides or the two grooms or wh whoever is now coming up and is standing where they're supposed to be standing. Remember when I talked about that this is a performance? I kind of started the video with that. Well, with that in mind, it is now put up or shut up time because the ceremony's begun and now people are expecting something from you. The way to blow minds is to keep, so let's talk about, so let's say you have the ceremony and it's printed out in a book, like I always recommend, instead of on a cell phone or a tablet, you're not looking at that thing. 
you've got it by your side, you've got it in front of you, you're holding it. Those first few sentences, those first few words of your ceremony script, you're gonna do completely uh, off the top of your head. It's gonna be memorized. Everybody is ready to hear what you have to say and they're looking at you and they're always gonna remember the opening of that ceremony. And if you can be looking out at the crowd, looking at the couple, so here's how mine might look. We're gathered here today in this wonderful paradise to celebrate one of life's greatest relationships, the union of John and Sarah and holy matrimony. You're actually talking to everybody versus reading a script. Okay, that's all I have to say about that, is memorize the opening part of your ceremony and speak just directly to the people and to the couple. It's those opening moments that really set the stage for uh, your absolute incredibleness as a wedding officiant. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Good luck with that. And as always, leave any of your hurtful and painful comments below. No, really, I like to hear how it's helpful or things that you wish you would have known that maybe I didn't include. But uh, that's what I'm here for. Good luck.